Welcome back gamers, this is uh, Winter. So in the last video we um, built some of the really early structures um, and we can go on to maybe build an ore refinery, that was kind of the next thing we need. So let's build one of those. Off to this. Uh, we'll make it close to the these two ore deposits here. So these are order deposits here, but you'll also notice there's some gold, which we'll be mining later, and uranium, which is pretty high valuable stuff. And there should be some aluminum. Yeah, this this one here, this white whitish one is aluminum. But that comes later. So now that we've got the ore refinery basically turns ore into steel. Uh pretty slowly, so we're gonna have to build quite a few of these. But you'll notice, like, because it's right close to these ore bodies, it'll just, or ore deposits, it'll just, you know, it doesn't have to move very far. We also want to build some pavement, which speeds up the vehicle speed. I'm going to put some kind of right along here. Because, uh, I'll see in a sec why. And I also... I also like to build some kind of out from my out from my main center building here. Just kind of like an access of roads. Sometimes you have to go around stuff, but generally if you just kind of look and see where your bots are moving most, that's a good place to lay down some road. So how are we doing for food? Food we're Pretty good. We need more housing. So we want to put our housing close to our buildings. This refinery holds three workers, so we're going to need one small shelter kind of close by for each one of these we build. So for now, let's build three shelters because we're going to build a couple more refineries. It steel is pretty slow to, to, you, uh, to build up, so like I said, we're going to need a few of these uh, ore refineries. So we've got 8,000 ore. We can build a couple more of these. And later on, we're going to... Actually, you see all these uh, rovers here. They're not very good at mining ore. They're kind of like the, the lowest, the slowest. So we're going to select a bunch of them and actually destroy them. Uh, there's a self-destruct. It'll just blow them all up. Let's uh, blow these ones up too. I mean, we can kind of chase after them and do it. Uh, 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 <laughs> self-destruct, self-destruct. And the reason I'm doing this is that this uh, ore refinery, it has a another vehicle called an ore miner, which is mo more efficient at um, harvesting ore. So let's get that one harvesting. Actually, before it starts harvesting, let's designate a parking spot because that's always good to do if we can catch them. Park. Oh. <laughs> so he'll go back to this spot after which is good. Get him harvesting again. Um, let's build some more ore miners. I'm going to go at do it from this vehicle menu instead. So ore miner. Let's build a. Let's build a bunch. Oh, some of them are coming out of here as well. So if we actually long click and select all vehicles, we can get everything harvesting, which is kind of handy. So. Should we do next? All buildings, let's see. Okay, so one thing that these ore miners can build is an ore mine itself. So it costs 500 ore, but it, let's lay, let's lay one down here. It's 
uh, build one more ore miner that's just dedicated to building. So it costs 500 ore to build, but it actually has 10,000 ore in it. So, and it also will increase the mining speed because they can go straight from here to here without even moving. And you'll notice this ore mine is going to go down really fast and our ore is going to go up really fast. So let's build a bunch of these around here so that we can keep the ore flowing in. And we probably want to build some pavement on the other side so that the vehicles can get around fast. These houses probably I should have moved one up, but once this mine's exhausted, I'll move things around a bit. So ore refinery, let's build another three over here. You can you can build buildings. The most optimal way to build the buildings is kind of back to back. So that you're all, all you need is one side that the workers can get in and out of. So this side they can get in and over here. And then let's build some pavement along here. So now we got some steel producing. Got 130 steel so far. But we're going to need a whole bunch for other buildings. So we've run out of power, so let's build some more power. Same kind of thing for power. You probably want to do in rows of two, because later on when you upgrade these, uh, the vehicles need access to actually get in. So if you build a row of three, the the one the middle row won't be accessible. It's kind of good practice to do rows of two for buildings that have to be upgraded. Let's overbuild power a bit so we don't have to worry about it. We need some more housing because we're capped at housing. So let's put some housing on the other side here so that the workers can easily get to the these uh, refineries. Let's also build some more ore mines on this side so that some vehicles can mine on that side as well. Let's destroy this rover. This rover. <laughs> They're kind of hiding underneath. These ore mines are going to be, they go through really fast, so get those building. Now we'll let that kind of settle settle down or mine away. And we'll build um, this internet relay booth, which is, it's used to entertain the colonists. And you want, uh, you want to keep them entertained because if you go into the stats menu, sorry, it's not under here. If you just click on the ground and hit the S button, or you can go through here. You can go um, statistics. And under the statistics menu, there's a lot of useful information. Um, one key thing is unemployment. So if it's too high, it's bad. There's not enough jobs. So you need to build more buildings that have jobs. The jobs report, uh, how many jobs are filled. Usually you want this maxed at 100%. Resources, I use this one a lot. It's really um, Good. You can see uh, the input and output. I'll go into that in a sec. Um, homelessness. Approval rating is really important. So you want your all your colonists to be happy. If uh, zero colonists are angry, you probably don't have enough entertainment for them. So under resources, you can see, for each resource, you can see the inflow and outflow. So we can see the greenhouses are producing 28 per tick, which is some number of seconds, and there's 69 being consumed by the colonists. So that's bad, actually. We need some more, we need some more food, somewhat desperately. So let's build some greenhouses here and here. And let's build some pavement up along here. That should probably help us with this food. And for some storage of the food, let's build some more silos. 
it's good to have a bit more storage so you can have a buffer so when you get into a situation like this where your food's running low you have a, more of a buffer so we do we have any workers in here the workers should eventually fill up these slots and to get the workers coming in faster we'll build some more landing pads let's build a uh, bunch. The landing pads, because they don't need access by workers, you can actually build them in a big giant grid. You don't have to do rows of two. You can also build some pavement along here so our builders can get to the solar panels easier. So how's food now? Food's in the green again, which is good. And you can verify, like, it takes a few seconds, but you can verify whether the, oh, that's ore, sorry verify whether the you're kind of net positive so that's water <laughs> we want food so greenhouse is 35 columns is 80 hmm I guess we still need some more food it says net 65 which is oh okay there there it took a while to update so now it's 147 83 147 being grown and 83 being consumed so we're kind of in the green which is good uh, so here's some taxes. I think, I don't know if this is the first time we pay taxes, but you always want to have enough money around to pay your taxes. Don't reject it because you'll, you're standing with the United Earth Glo General Assembly will become bad, which is not a good thing. So you want to keep that paid. So you want to make sure you have some, enough cash sitting around to pay that. So there's another building here, Chop Shop. I don't usually build it, but uh, let's just stick it here. It You can send vehicles to it, and instead of self-destructing the vehicle, you can send it to this chop shop, and it will break them into the materials that it costs to build them, or some fraction of that, which is good. I mean, for these rovers, they're so cheap that it's easier to self-destruct them, but later on, some of the vehicles are a bit more expensive, and you might want to recycle them. A few other buildings here. So actually, the internet relay booth. You want entertainment to be cl close to housing so that uh, they don't have to walk very far to get their entertainment. This booth, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't employ anyone. It, uh, it can entertain two guests and eventually we'll see them kind of fill up. So that keeps your colonists happy, which keeps things kind of good. Let's build some more over here. They're, these ones are really cheap. There's better entertainment later on, but this one's half decent. So how are we doing for, we need more, we need more housing actually. So let's build some here. I probably should build it in this direction so that it's easy, even closer to the ore ref refineries, but that's not good enough. So we can next, the next thing we should build is the gold refinery. Just similar to this, it uh, it turns gold ore, which is this stuff, into kind of refined gold, which is what we can use. Where should we put some gold, uh, gold refineries? Which way do they go here? Okay. Let's build them. Um, I'm actually going to destroy this or deposit because I don't really need it. Let's build our refineries up here. Let's build a couple first. It costs 2,000 ore and 80 steel. Got 600 steel, so we're okay there. Let those build away. Probably could use some more builder advanced builder bots or builder bots let's build some more builder bots because we only have three of them building at once now which is not quite enough if you want to take a new bot and help it build the other building you can just use move and click on top of the area that's being built 
and it'll send it over there. So now that we've got a gold refinery, we can build a gold miner. So let's build at least one of those and send him off harvesting and he will he will go to this gold here the closest I guess probably should have built it a little closer to here but later on we built we can just like we can build these uh, ore mines these ones we can build our own gold mines a bit later so we won't necessarily need these these gold deposits that came with them out but it doesn't hurt to use them up Let's build some more ore mines because we're running low here. Our population is almost maxed again. So we probably want some more housing. Let's put some housing over by these gold refineries. How many people will go in here? Four workers. So let's put some shelters kind of along here so that they can get to work easily. Could probably build another refinery, gold refinery here. And we can probably build a few more gold miners just so we can get the gold flowing in. I usually build about eight of them. I'll do it from this menu because it's easier. probably good. Uh, so if you long click, you should be able to set everything harvesting, so it'll all go and consume this gold deposit here. Now we're gonna need some to build some research. Research where's the small research lab? This thing's research is important, it unlocks a whole bunch of stuff later on. So let's build some pavement over here and start building some research stations or research labs. They cost 1800 or 80 steel and 25 gold, which is pretty inexpensive. And they employ five workers. So we'll wanna, we'll wanna build some housing by them as well. How much gold do we have? We can build a few of these. So that will eventually, got no workers yet. So once, once we get some workers, we'll start getting some research points and that will, we'll see some more stuff. Well, we can already see a bunch of stuff that we can build if we add the points, but we need to kind of build them up. And a lot of the stuff I'll probably do in the next video, just cause this video is getting a bit long. So we got some research labs. We have Chop Shop. The Golden Shelter is a um, building that is unlocked when you pay to get the ads to go away, which I did because I wanted to support the developer because I like this game. Um, but it's basically just like the shelter, but it holds one more person. Oh, we got a food issue again. So let's build some more greenhouses. Kind of put them up here. And some more silos so that we have storage. So good, the workers went in there. Well, at least went into one of them right away. You need the workers in here for that food to actually be produced. Let me turn the text poppers on so you can see stuff. Engine settings. Oh, they are on. Okay, so I guess there's no food being. Okay, we're gonna see one. Oh yeah, F7, okay. Let's build some housing, some more housing by the these new greenhouses that we built so that the commute length is short. Got our gold miners, chop shop. I'll save the mint for later. Uh, mm, mint's tasty. Uh, gold mints just convert this refined gold into dollars, cash, which is 
important and we'll want to build a bunch of those. Not sure if there's anything else I want to talk about. Uh, we have five research points now, so these little these research labs are doing their job. We'll build uh, some atmosphere generators in the next video. But for now, I think that's good. We're uh, this is actually a reshoot of of a video I did earlier, but I wasn't zoomed in enough, so this one's a bit easier to will be easier to see on mobile. On desktop, it was fine, but on mobile, it was just everything was so tiny. Hopefully, this one's better. So I'll see you in uh, part three of this guide to my colony. Please uh, subscribe if you want updates. I probably publish a video like once once every day or two. And please uh, thumbs up and like it if, if you enjoyed it. Or leave some comments if you got some suggestions how I can improve my, my colony. Get some payroll here before we say goodbye. Okay, until next time. Thanks.